Hello everyone, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with a very special video. I have a uh, classic airliner airline model review of the Gemini Jets Braniff International Calder 727-200. Uh, I want to start off by saying uh, happy July 4th to everybody and uh, happy birthday to the good old USA. Um, Let's get started, as usual, with the box. This box is a little different than your average box. You got uh, the star, you know, and Calder, Calder's uh, signature. And then you've got a little picture of the plane, Gemini Jets, 1400. And then the design, and then the same thing. Your barcode, uh, aircraft registration on the back, and then when you open up the flap, it's a sideways flap. So you got Flying Colors 1976, and it tells you a little bit about it. Um, if you'd like to read, you can pause. And doesn't really say what year this model came out. I think it was very early, but could be wrong. Okay, guys. Let's get to the model. Now, for those of you who don't know anything about this plane, uh, this plane was designed to celebrate uh, the bicentennial of the United States in 1976. And Alexander Calder, a famous artiste, was hired to design basically a flying billboard. And uh, this basically this design was uh, chosen, and it was called uh, Flying Colors of the United States. And basically, it's a oh, um, kind of a, a representation of the American flag. So, you look at the front here. Some of this is not as detailed as it may be now, but you have your uh, what do you call them? Your eyebrow windows there. If you look at the side. Uh, you got Calder above the boarding door, and you got the wavy lines representing the stripes of the flag, and it kind of goes down. There's uh, your landing lights there, right there on the wing. Your two emergency exits. It even uh, they even painted on the wing. Uh, and then over here. The registration in 408 BN and on the, the the design continues on the tail here there's your um, APU your exhaust port in the back of the plane the uh, exhaust exhaust port for the uh, rear engine here and then a little uh, engine nacelle design there. And on the other side, it's not quite the same. It's actually different. On this side you have looks like some stars and a little bit of uh, you know, wavy design there. And the tail is a little bit different too on this side. Registration is still there. And then your design is is different here. Let's see on this right door a little bit here a little bit different and then uh, if you look at the bottom of the plane underneath the uh, horizontal stabilizer and then there's your your rear stairs no stand hole Gemini Jets logo this is before the stand hole came so this is probably 99 Okay, it's an awesome model. If you can find one, I highly recommend 
recommend it. One that might even be a little bit better is the um, the DC-8. I want to say it was, we'll see, it was called the Flying Colors of South America, but that's, that was the original the Calder design plane. Um, it's really expensive if you can find one, but, uh, trivia question, let's see, don't really have a good trivia question in mind, um, let me see, let me see, ah, what, um, what was Delta's first transatlantic route? And if you want, you can put the year, if you know what the, what year it was started. But uh, what was Delta's first transatlantic route? That is the trivia question for this video. Anyways, guys, again, uh, happy 4th of July to everybody. I uh, hope you enjoy the day. And uh, hope you enjoy this uh, special model review of a flying American flag. Albeit a little bit... Um, oh, what's the word? But it, it's it's odd. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.